Hopefully everyone is enjoying themselves over the Labor Day holiday weekend. Time to spend time with friends and family, cookouts, boat rides, whatever you got. Just relax. Because this is kind of the calm before the storm. After this weekend, starting tomorrow, things are going to get busy. Either tomorrow or Wednesday, the judge is going to come back with an answer for Mark Meadows. Mark Meadows wants to take his court case in Georgia to the federal court or just get it dismissed. The judge is going to come back with an answer, and frankly, Mark Meadows doesn't have a case for either one of them. He's probably going to get denied on both situations. Then it's going to be interesting to see what he chooses to do at that point. And then a few days later, Congress is going to come back into session. And they don't have a lot of time, and they've got to come up with an answer to the uh, appropriations bills and the budgets and all that, all of which have been passed by the Senate, but the House poses some bigger problems. If they don't come up with an answer by the end of the month, then the country will shut down. The government will shut down. Now, nobody on the Democratic side wants that. Most people on the Republican side don't want that. Kevin McCarthy doesn't want that. But those MAGA fucks do, and they're pushing hard. Which always strikes me strange, because if you look at the whole of the Republican Party in the House, there's 218 members. MAGA makes up maybe 30, 35 members. So they shouldn't have any bearing on what ultimately is done, but Kevin McCarthy sold his soul to MAGA, so he's in a tough situation. MAGA wants the country to shut down. Kevin knows that's a dumb idea, because the Republicans will get the blame for it come 2024. So once again... Kevin McCarthy doesn't know what the fuck to do. So he's ultimately going to talk them out of shutting down the government because he has to. The thing about it is, is people will say, well, they're just going to vote uh, a, a vote of no confidence for Kevin McCarthy. And I say they're not. They would have done that after the debt ceiling debacle for the Republicans, but they didn't. And they may be holding it over his head currently. But I don't think MAGA will ever say, let's have a vote of no confidence, even though they insisted that when Kevin McCarthy became Speaker of the House. And here's why. Because if MAGA tries to kick Kevin McCarthy out, they'll never get the votes. Remember, I said they only have like 30, 35 people. A lot of reasonably minded people, relatively reasonably minded people in the Republican Party will say, we don't want to fuck with that. Let's just ride this motherfucker out and get this abortion put behind us. But MAG is going to push for it. But if Kevin McCarthy goes against them, they are not going to ask for a vote of no confidence. And here's why. They don't have the votes to win. If they call for the vote of no confidence and they don't win, then their weakness is exposed. I mean, we know they're fucking weak, but apparently the other Republicans don't get it because they keep siding with them and supporting them. But that whole vote of no confidence thing, I don't see that fucking happening because they're fucking weak. And who knows, by then we might get some of these superseding indictments and members of Congress may have their own problems over and above shutting down the country or trying to protect Donald Trump. Uh, and then on October 2nd, of course, we have the start of New York Attorney General Letitia James' lawsuit against Donald Trump, which might take him for everything he has. So over the next two weeks to 35 days, uh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to get busy. And that doesn't even count all the other investigations and other superseding indictments that might come. If you're having fun now, it's the calm before the storm. Shit's about to happen over the next 30 days.